guys, uh, me and Gaming and YouTube, uh, my fellow subscribers, and uh, Retribution Angel. Uh, I have just unpa unpackaged your um, your model that you have made for me, the Tau Ethereal. Uh, this model looks amazing, dude. Uh, great job on all the uh, sculpting, all the green stuff work. It's just crazy and how well you've been able to do this. Um, it has come all in one piece. Um, of course, the ethereal was not glued onto the base, um, but nothing was broken. Uh, everything's the same as how you have shifted. Shifted. Um, I, ha I have the three death coptas uh, still at my house. Um, I've not been able to ship those out yet. Um, hopefully, I'll be able to do it sometime in this next week. I know I said that last time, but. Uh, I've been getting ready for my prom, uh, junior prom, and uh, some other things, uh, Eagle Project and stuff like that for Boy Scouts. So I've been pretty busy. Um, but yeah, I got the model. It looks great. Good, uh, nice work on it. Um, really appreciate you doing this for me. And uh, yeah, uh, having a little bit of difficulty on um, trying to figure out how I want to paint him. Um, and on my towel codex around me right now. Um, I was thinking, since my uh, the towel that I have that are th that's this colored, um, they're a um, they're a Farsight Enclave or Renegade, um, and so I couldn't I wouldn't be able to use uh, Ethrals. But for this guy, um, I was thinking of using him for a just a regular. Um, Tau Army, uh, Combat Patrol, or whatever it is, uh, small little 1500 point, uh, army, um, to use him in it, and I'm thinking, trying to think of ideas on how I should paint him, um, trying to think if I should have his armor be white, um, his, or what, um, I'll see if I can go find my codex in just a second, Let's see, Something like maybe that that should be able to stay. That's that's pretty good, eh? All right, so it's actually closer than I thought it would be. So here is the. Codex. Here is that's the master grandmaster ethereal dude. There's our site. Um, all right. So here are some of the seps that uh, are the loyalist seps. Um, there's the regular far, uh, firecast. Um, the tau sept. Um, so armor would be vomit brown, scorched brown for the cloth, skull white for the sept color. Um, the that sept which looks like that. Um, armor would be folks gray, cloth would be mix. Um, there's this one. Uh, let's see here. Armor would be gray or earth. Cloth would be desert yellow. Um, for the sept colors, that would probably be be how I paint the uh, the cloth or the the robe part. Um, maybe, maybe not though. Um, that might be just a little too much. Uh, there's this sept which is pretty similar onto mine, but the red is just a little bit different. The red is a uh, terracotta, um, so I think it's a little bit darker. Maybe I'm not too sure. Um, but there's this one, so I could use that to have it close. Very close onto um, what I have my towel painted as. Um, there's this one, which is more like an urban camo theme, uh, a little bit more uh, mixing of paint. There's this one, uh, more of a snow based, um, coast gray and space wolf gray. Um, there's this one, which is Farsight's um, uh, actual, like, what his homeworld is from. Um, I have my. Uh, my Pathfinder is painted like this, so I could use this to actually like tie him into quote unquote um, into my army right now. 
uh, it wouldn't be too hard to do. But they are, and I actually have a little paint for this. Uh, the cloth is Kaichan and the armor is uh, rotting flesh. Um, just an, uh, an idea. And this is one of the ETH rolls that's painted. So, uh, this is the Brookan Sept, the, um, more of the, the snow, snow based. So, like, his cloth is white with some of the darker grays and stuff like that. And then this is the Urban Camo. Uh, the Sept color was orange. And so there's the orange uh, under part of his robes, uh, and then there's the black, and yeah. So um, out of these six or seven um, seps and their color schemes, uh, just to let me know on what you guys think, uh, my fellow subscribers, uh, comment section below, see which one you like best. Um, just describe what colors would be great because um, there are obviously different types of ways you can paint ethrals um, and there's different types of steps too so just I might take a look online and see what other people have um, but uh, here's some more some other ones I have this one myself um, but it looks meh not, not as cool as, as that one he looks pretty bomb. Um, and then there's just another one. Uh, here's the two guards, and then the master dude, which I actually want to get this model because he's pretty cool. He has a little chair, and he has a cool little base thing. Um, but uh, yeah, so help me out on how I should paint him, and then I will paint him and do my very best on painting him because um, he deserves it. Awesome model. Uh, the only one out there like this, which is cool. So, um, yeah, that's it. That's my, uh, my excitement for today, is getting this model. Um, so yeah, thanks, uh, Rich Boost Angel. A uh, huge shout-out to you. Um, any other sculptors and converters out there, uh, this is pretty good. Any green stuff, guys. This is pretty good, and all the layers of green stuff that he's done. Uh, he's done some um, Blood Angel conversions. Uh, they look pretty cool. Uh, the Flaming Sword looks awesome on um, uh, McFiston's or Fiston or whatever his name was. Um, so yeah, he's done some other amazing green stuff works. Uh, the Orc War Boss, the, um, the Assassin and the uh, comps are so this is just another addition and also how can I fit, forget the uh, the doom uh, it's just another great addition to your collection of what you've been able to come up with and bring stuff up so uh, I'll send you a PM and I'll start thinking of ideas on how to paint this alright guys I'm gonna go I'll talk to you later